Hi guys, welcome back to another hopefully interesting video. I'm the Cliff Actor, smoking cigarettes and drinking beer. And today I'm going to present Noise Isolator from Cliff Factory. But um, <clears throat> yeah, let's listen to that while I'm, I'm getting the smoke. Yeah. So at the moment we are listening to Noise Isolator with some modulations going on. But yeah, get rid of all this modulation stuff and I'll show you what Noise Isolator is, okay? So get the volume down, uh, filter, yeah, use the filter, sorry for that, and get rid of all those modulations just to be honest oops make sound <laughs> okay uh that's what this wasn't that wasn't um it was not planned okay so what is noscillator noscillator is a new stereo vco um that is based on samples so you can load any stereo sample into Noscillator. Um, the only thing is um, it has to be stereo and it has to be long enough, so at least 200 kilobyte, and it should have no complete silence inside the sample. That's just because if you're sampling silence, then nothing's gonna happen. Hmm. It's late here, I'm drinking beer. So let's just load a sample and yeah, let's see what happens. So this is actually a pad, I don't know, whatever, riff, whatever. So right click, load stereo sample, riff the pin. Okay, we, we heard enough. And now we got a waveform, actually more than one, but doesn't matter. So let's bring this a bit down and then show you what's going on. So first of all, we have this form, um, parameter, knob. What makes it from a kind of squarish to a more triangle wave. It it doesn't look squarish, but it's actually noisier than when you go over there. See? And second thing is speed. So uh, it is to the original stereo width of the samples. And you see, you can spread this. Now, if this is a a stereo file but a mono sample if you have no stereo information there nothing's gonna happen but if you have a stereo file yeah you can widen the stereo or go into mono and now this is where the magic starts detune I love it see so back That's really nice. And next feature, uh, we have a sub oscillator. So let me bring this guy in. This is one octave lower. Now actually you should have good um, speakers or headphones to hear that. But let me go one octave up. See? And this sub oscillator has a uh, output, so you don't need to mix it inside the plugin. You can use this output, or um, like every par parameter here has an input and an attenuator, you can mix it just directly in the plugin. Voltage control, of, uh, of course. And this sub oscillator goes from a triangle wave 
to a kind of squarish thing. See? And of course you can modulate this uh, with voltage. So, um, what is noise oscillator? A noise oscillator takes a sample that you load in and picks nine samples of, out of your sample and makes kind of nine wavetables. So actually you, you can load a, a whole track, yeah, whatever. And if you have a whole track, you may get like nine very different uh, wavetables. And if you load just one sound, like as a sample, you will get like nine very uh, samples that are really close to each other. So that depends on the material. Um, now, Noiselator then is playing like there was nine stereo samples or stereo wavetables, meaning it's playing actually 18 voices, like nine stereo voices. That's why it actually has some, yeah, some CPU load. It's like the double of Morpheus 2, like here we have eight voices uh, when they are modulated and plating and this is 18 voices. So just if you ask yourself, oh my God, this is getting some CPU load. Yeah, that's the reason why. And these 18 or nine stereo voices, call them whatever, are layered. Um, so when you spread them, actually not all will sp be spread. Um, they will spread in, in kind of whatever. And if you detune them, actually one will stay in the middle and the other um, eight will get spread out more and more. And there is two, two detune modes. So uh, let's give this a listen. The regular mode is um, you detune um, to each side, so it doesn't matter if if um, this knob is there or there, if it's positive or, positive or negative, it will just spread even up and down. And when you go to the second mode, it will spread uh, detune the other voices down or up. Okay. So normally you will use the first mode, but when you do effects um, with a lot of modulation, because this, this knob doesn't go very high, but when you modulate it uh, on the input, you can go really high, really crazy. So maybe you will use the other mode as well, okay? So uh, what I really like about Noiselator is you got a sound and you say, yeah, it's not bad, but maybe I could just try something else. So just kick another sample inside. See? And you got completely other sound. And that's easy because, yeah, people like I, I got a bunch of samples. I'm sampling since 20 years. I have so much material. I actually can't um, use it all because it's too much. So this is my oscillator and just, yeah, let's listen to a few, a few other samples, like what, what happens. So actually, mm, event, 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 I had a nice sample, but it's gone. Okay, let's do this. No, this, this is boring. That's a mono drum loop. I got a better one. This one here. Yeah. This kind of whatever noise. Okay. Loop crispy rocket, whatever. Oh, let's get this inside and just see what happens. See? Isn't this nice? Actually, we have no filter on it. And 
let's try this in a, in a higher range. Yeah, so nice. Actually, I, I, I still have um, a modulation on this filter. So yeah, you can get out a bunch of sound um, just of this little noise later. See? Oh, I hit the microphone. <laughs> and yeah, um, that's just the basic stuff. You have um, hard sync, soft sync. I like soft sync. You can modulate everything and then last but not least you have this deep pan um, parameter, so bring it in. See, and deep end is kind of special because um, you have to check when you use this in a track if um, actually when you use this with, with uh, modulation, if you, if you modulate this and even in higher frequencies. Um, it may be not that mono compatible. That's why you have this um, stereo mono left um, switch. So stereo mono sounds different left. That's just one channel. So if you need mono compatibility on your track, um, then yeah, check this here. And that's just what noise slater is. It's a lot of fun and get in any sample you want. Uh, just play around if you can. Noise slater is available at clearfactory.com when you are a lucky owner of the Hall of Fame edition. So you're ready to go because noise slater is already there waiting for you. If not, yeah, think about it. Um, that's it for today. I'm the Cliff Actor. Oh, let's listen to that. It's so sexy. <laughs> oh, I love this. Um, yeah, I will drink a few more beers and smoke cigarettes, you know. And see you next time. Have fun. Thank you. And cheers. Go on. Adorobie. Prost. Salut. Chin chin. Ciao, ciao, bye, bye. See you.